Hello, Virgo. I actually started this off by saying Gemini, and then I said fuck really loud, and then I decided to start it over. But, hi, Virgo. It's time for your 2019 year predictional reading, because we don't know if this is going to happen, but we get to come back and gloat if it does. Right? Right. Because it's always fun to do. Be right about something, even though everyone says you're wrong about it. That's always a satisfying conjuncture. That's what I got from my mother growing up, and my dad. <laughs> They're both kind of like that. My mother's a Virgo, for sure. She's a very judgmental person. We, um... We, get, we bond best when we're talking about other people in our lives. That's how me and my mother have bonded growing up. So take that into consideration. Crazy lady, right? So... Here's how you're leaving 2018, feeling like, uh, things didn't make me feel very well. Feel kind of fakish, right? There's a lot of hesitation in the, um, first quarter, too, coming up. Possibly. And we got someone being a bit of a spy going into the second quarter. There might be a heartbreaking situation in the third quarter. Or you're getting over some sort of heartbreak situation. This could be um, a air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or it could just somebody taking on that energy and trying to find information because they're paranoid. Then we have somebody offering that cup up. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, possibly, or somebody emitting that energy. I don't need these cards anymore. I need my crow deck. Oh. I almost forgot, you guys. Um, I won't be taking any more personal readings till after January 13th. Because I want to go on vacation from here out. It's a holiday after all. Kids get like two weeks. I think I deserve this time. I actually work, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, like, um... I won't be doing any readings until, um... Well after the New Year's. And um, if you want to schedule a reading with me, you can go ahead and send me an email. Like I'll work on them during that time too, if that's the case, if I have the time. But really, I'm going to enjoy myself. Um, but yeah, like if you, um, I'll have my uh, email and I'll have my PayPal for donations down there below too. Part of this first quarter, right, as you're going and feeling like not like yourself entirely. There's a bit of this harmony going on with someone who is intentionally keeping secrets for no reason because they're a jerk or they brought some disharmony with them. It could be a, a, a Sagittarius, a Leo, an Aries type or could somebody with that energy, someone is being really deceptive with their secrets. They might not even be cold secrets or maybe they're just not coming to you about something. And it causes a lot of distress, and there's a lot of, like, hesitation with it all. Like, someone doesn't, doesn't want to take a leap of faith with this person. They feel like, possibly, it'll cause this issue of disharmony, possibly financially or material-wise. Because this person is kind of, like, they're not trustworthy. <clears throat> Six ones. Someone wants a victory, I feel like, in this second quarter of next year coming up. Uh, but they also feel as though they need to, like, create something with all of their misery, I want to feel like. Like, something cut them up with their paranoia, but they were victorious with their paranoia. But now they got to deal with what it is that was created this heartbreaking situation in the third quarter that it appears that like like someone's getting over it and they want to come back in from this distance going off out of nowhere like somebody wants to come back from that they're no longer entertained with being on the outside when it comes to emotions like they're dealing with this heartbreak as well as they can, but it's like they still want to come back in and be like, Ugh. And it doesn't have to be the same person, but I feel like it is to somebody. And the one thing about Virgo is I'll never understand, like, my mother, she's never once said that she loves me. 
right? But I know it would drive her insane if she ever lost to me. They don't like losing people. Ah, yeah. Someone's being immature and not giving an apology, though. Like, within this third quarter of the month. However, it doesn't matter. Someone... Or... Someone's getting over this heartbreak where they were keeping their emotions inside because they were at a distance. And maybe when they finally do offer this cup, this apology. Um, Ten of Cups. Your wish is granted. Everything's ending beautifully. Everything has become one with each other. And opportunities will arise from this, Virgo. Good deal. Well, there's a little bit of misery in there, but not too bad. You guys are having a nice year after you get it through all the bullshit. Like by the end of like next year there should be or possibly will be some really great response that leads to things that like you really weren't expecting to happen and it just opens doors for you. And you're going into 2019 as the Knight of Cups reversed. So it could be you who is uh, finally offering that cup of love. Because you were very stubborn with it before. You didn't want to offer it. What are the lessons for next year, my dear? That almost popped up. I didn't see what it was there. Ah! Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone had to make a decision and cut something or be strategic with their criticisms, I feel like. Because something was not going to change if it didn't. Let's listen here. Learn how to be decisive. Over here, the lessons of some things just don't change. <laughs> like, what? Some things just don't change. Some habits never end. Is the vibration I'm getting from it? Like, things aren't meant to change. Things aren't meant to die off. There isn't supposed to be an ending for a new beginning here. Or someone's just uh, pre uh, preventing it. Someone's learning to keep themselves restricted of some sort. Or learning that the re that restriction is what's helped them. Excuse me. Like, someone is keeping themselves back. And it might that might have been a lesson in that. And like, did you really need to hold yourself back? Or was there a reason why? be less than the third quarter. And then we have good idea. Right perspective. Things ending beautifully with a new mindset. A gift. If you go from the Ace of Swords. And look in the center as you're going into 2020 is celebrations. Joy. Probably that's the third party, but I don't think so. I think it's really happy. I think there's going to be some joy getting spread around and look at these cups doesn't matter everyone's happy in the end so that's yours virgo and i will see you next year bye bye